Hey guys, so today I want to check out the brand new iOS 7.1 Beta 3 on the iPhone 4S here. So you just wanna do a quick little look at it over here on this specific device. So we're just gonna power it on here and also been checking out on some other iPhones. So that could definitely be uh, interesting for you to know maybe or to check out or something if you're into those cool things, you know. I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't really know a lot about you. Actually, I don't know that much about you that's watching this video, so, you know. Maybe you can tell me who you are, you know. That would be cool. Okay, so it's powered on right now. You can see how you snappy it is. Uh, still, uh, I think that, that's something that we got in beta 2, actually, or something that just start to be even faster especially on this device here the iPhone 4s which you can actually see that it's not the iPhone 4 3087 and doesn't have that little thing there at the top uh, so the first thing here is a new UI uh, when we're clicking the power off button and I gotta say this UI looks so good uh, you have a blurred out menu you have rounded off buttons uh, and it just looks so good overall. If you ask me, I love it. It matches up against like Siri. You can see, so you can see it there, but you release it and it's gonna uh, power the device off. Also pretty interesting here is that you don't have to uh, you it stay it seems to be staying at this menu here if you don't click on console earlier it kind of worked like the uh, you had to tap or you didn't have to tap you just had to wait and then it went back i think so that's one of the new additions another big thing here is the dialer and overall the phone when you get calls and stuff uh, looks way more rounded off here in terms of the design uh, maybe even a little bit thicker in, in terms of design you can see here I can't make a call because my SIM is locked but I can actually show it on another iPhone how it looks uh, when you are receiving a call uh, which could be a little bit interesting to check out so uh, just give me one second here and we're just gonna see so first of all you can see here how it looks so you can just slide and when you're sliding that's basically how it looks and then also this that, that was when the device was kind of locked I think you kind of get different different UI here uh, when the device when maybe you're using the device it's unlocked and, uh, and such so let's take a look at that as well that could be there we go so you can see the UI there Great stuff. So just a quick little look at that. Uh, I like it, I like it, I like it. Uh, another little thing here is when you go into settings, you go down to wallpapers. Uh, they now have a new option here to choose a new wallpaper. You don't tap down here, it seems. Uh, but the special thing here is that you now have a motion on button. So when you're selecting wallpaper, you can first see text wallpaper preview, but you can see that if you do disable this, then it's not moving around when you're moving around your phone. So might maybe be something for you there that you do enjoy. I don't really know, I don't know you. And then also think that they might have changed this text up here when you're going into uh, wallpapers, taking a look at that. And it kind of feels like these are moving around. I'm not sure if it was that or, or like that earlier. Kind of doesn't feel like it, but I can take a look at that and see. And I don't think that they've added new wallpapers. Maybe one, two, three. No, I don't think so, but maybe. Uh, another little thing here is that the green is darker. Um, so you can see the phone icon and the messages icon and also the FaceTime icon, which is green. It looks a little bit different, a little bit darker greenish. Another little thing we do have in here is that when you go into general accessibility uh, and you go down to increase contrast, you now have a reduced white point 
and when you're enabling it, it kind of makes the device, like the white colors, uh, fade away to another sort of color here, a little bit darker from that I can see, uh, which could be good maybe for some people. Uh, Safari seems to have added a slight little address to change there at the top. Instead of saying address, it says enter site name, uh, which is another little update. I just radio now have a new button for radio uh, and music. Uh, inside of this app here I can't use it because I don't have any content uh, but the shuffle and the repeat buttons is a little bit darker in terms of colors easier to see if you have them like enable from what I could see uh, another little thing here a big thing is actually the bold keyboard uh, so uh, you do get slightly uh, different keyboard here as well which seems to be uh, a little bit bolder uh, than it's been in earlier versions of iOS. It doesn't actually seem to be as bold here as when I checked it out on iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S. So it could be something new or it could be it's my eyes fooling me, but uh, a little bit bolder it should be in the shift button, uh, the shift button and the back button, delete button should be a little bit different. There could also be a few other things that they have changed probably across the UI. It's pretty hard to find everything all the time. Uh, but uh, just a quick little look here at some of these new additions that people have found. Uh, if you find anything cool or want me to check out something, definitely let me know about that. And I will definitely see what I can do. So yeah, it's a quick video here. Peace out.